Hello, welcome to another Pokemon Paper Craft. It's another collaboration with the lovely Maggie from Red Turd Art. And yeah, so here we go. We have six characters this time. Um, Eevee, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Chikorita and Pikachu. So I hope you're going to enjoy it and um, we'll show you how you can make your endless cards. Simply go ahead and go and download the templates and off we go with making them. Okay, let's get started. We'll need scissors, double-sided tape or and glue, and something to score um, a couple of lines with. The first thing we're going to do is obviously you need to print off um, your template, and then we need to start off by cutting out those long rectangles. I've already done one, so that you have an idea of what I'm actually talking about, and I'll cut out the other one now. I'll fast forward just a little bit because no one needs to see me cutting the paper very slowly. So after that, we need to fold those long rectangles into squares. And we really want to make sure that everything is nicely aligned so that the cut works afterwards. Now that we have our squares, we need to glue those pages together. So I'll do that quickly with you here. I have this beautiful, gorgeous purple glue, so you can see exactly where I'm gluing. Really nice for, for kids to see um, where they've glued and where not. That goes all white afterwards. And see-through, not white, see-through. So make sure that you've really nicely glued those together because we don't want them to come apart anymore. I'm just moving this now so that I can um, push those pages together nicely. There we go. And then the other square, glue those pages together. Next step I tend to do is I will score a couple of lines to make the folding easier afterwards. You can use um, either a scoring tool or a pen that doesn't write anymore, um, which I love using, but I'll use the proper tool now just for showing off. <laughs> so there are those four lines that we need to score, um, two on each paper square. And we'll do that before we'll glue those two squares together. And make sure that the glue has dried. I've been scoring one card and I've actually ripped the paper. And that is not a joy. <laughs> don't want to do the whole thing again. And after we've scored those four lines, we need to cut the squares again into little rectangle, rectangles, not rectangles, rectangles, and turn the paper around the square, and you see um, 
a line that you can cut. And the other square, right there. And really try and be as precise as possible so that um, the folding, the endless card, works smoothly. Now let's turn that first square around, which is part A of the printables. There you go. So they're like this all together in one image. And then you can already see on that side you have A, B, C, and D, and those correspond with the other square. And you'll have to find B on one square and the B on the other, and so forth, A and D and C. And that is where we will use either double-sided tape or glue. And we will then glue and tape those rectangles together and um, create the endless card, really. So I, I love double-sided tape and that's what I'm using, but you can also use the glue, just make sure that it's dry before you start folding the card in the end. So now you really have to make sure, again, that the cards are nicely aligned. And then you just drop the rectangle on top of the other card. Make sure it's nicely glued or taped together, and then the other side. And don't worry that that actually now doesn't give you a full and complete illustration. But when you turn the card around now, there you go. You see it, and then you start carefully folding the card. And then bend it the other way. And again, fold carefully. And the other side. And that's pretty much all that needs to be done. And then you can open the card up to the next illustration. There we go. And you're ready to go to play with that card and fold and fold as much as you like. I've created a an envelope or pocket, so to speak, for those cards, for those six Pokemon Endless cards, so as a keepsake, so you can take it along with you and enjoy it. And I will show that in a separate video. I'll put the link for that video in um, the description below the video. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and it'll help you to put together your Endless cards. Um, happy crafting, coloring and playing, and um, keep on watching. I'll have the Collider Cycles, or also called Flex Tangles, on in a moment. And if you haven't seen them yet, you definitely want to see those and maybe craft them as well. I'll put the link into the description as well. Have fun and um, come back again, subscribe, and um, find us on Facebook and on the website. Bye!